His name is Jagai Sack. And she shows the picture of the guy's Instagram and the picture of him. Yes, yeah. he is very unattractive. I was invited by Tyson out. When I decided to leave, he told me. Another video. Y'all been hearing what's been going happening with Kai Sinat. Y'all been hearing what's been happening. Now, I don't really know all the details, but I did, I did see some clips. I read some articles, things of that nature. But, hey, I just want to put my thoughts out there when I think about the situation. It's definitely a messed up situation. If y'all don't know what it's about, it's about, like, he threw a, Kai Sinat's a popular Twitch streamer. He threw a, He threw a party, a New Year's party. And uh, something happened to some girl, and he's basically involved in it because it was his party and it was his friend. But hey, let's get into it. So we've all seen Kai Sinat become one of the biggest streamers in the world over the last year. As someone blows up as big as he did, a lot of responsibility comes with that. People start acting different around you. You start getting attacked more. You get more hate. Kai had a New Year's yeah. Eve party, which apparently they've been waiting for this party. From what I'm seeing online, his I would guess there's around 250 people at this party. But something happened in this party that is very serious. And now has come to light on Twitter. Serious. A girl with the username at the Jovi Pena tweeted on January 1st, 2023, I was R worded at a party by a complete stranger. R worded, she was sexually assaulted. I was invited to this party by someone I thought to be a friend. I asked for help and it's not going anywhere, so I decided to take it to social media. His name is Jagai Sack and she shows the picture of the guy's Instagram and the picture of him. Yes, Damn. he is very unattractive. I was invited by Kai Sinat. When I decided to leave, he told me I'd be safer upstairs since I was drunk and nobody would bother me. However, after I fell asleep, since I thought I was safe due to there being security and Kai's confirmation, however, I wasn't safe. Jagai Sack walked in the room where I was asleep and brutally R-worded me to the point where I bled. When I woke up to see him still on top of me, I called him out as a R word and he told me that I was in his bed and that's why that's he did crazy. it. Wow. So basically, what I'm hearing is that she went to his party and she got drunk or whatever and she couldn't like function properly and Kai told her to go upstairs to the, to probably a room or something because that should be safe there. And this weird dude, this weird or whatever his name is, he looks ugly, but like Whoever that he needs to, if this is true, that need, he needs to be locked up. And then he said, "Wait, what did he say?" He said, "She asked him why he did it." I said, "Because it's his bed, bro." What? He needs to be locked up. This dude is weird, bro. He should, he should get like. Of me, I called him out something. as a He's a weird he told dude. Told me that I was in his bed, and that's why he did it. Wow. That's crazy. Wow, what a scumbag. I was in shock. I called and texted my friend who invited me, but I got no answer. And I was told by the, the friend is Kaisen, left, which I found out later to be a lie. He told me we can just keep it a secret and pretend nothing happened, but I was already traumatized by then. That's I spent crazy. all day crying and processing what happened to me instead of enjoying my vacation in New York. At nighttime, I had dinner reservations, but I went to the emergency room and said, and I was still in pain from what had happened to me. First off, I'd like to say I do believe this That's girl. Crazy. I think this did happen to her, but I don't agree with how Kai is being drawn dragged so hard if you look up kai's name on twitter right yeah now, people are saying kai is an r word how is kai an r word like that makes no it's kind of crazy yes because like a few she did come up like with a lot of like facts and like pictures of like files that she actually went to the hospital and things like that it's just how is kai involved in this i mean he's involved in it because number one it's his party number two it's his friend who did it so that's like it's technically involved but he's not like he's not the perpetrator in this situation but because he's the He's the most famous person in it, and he's the, like, you know, he's, like, kind of in the center of it. But at the same time, they're putting all their attention on Kai when really they should be putting all their attention on the person who actually did it. That's what the problem with the situation. People don't really care about what's happening because they just want to drag Kai's name. I think that Kai's, like, if, if this is right, Kai definitely has a part to play because it's his party. But, like, he doesn't, he should not be the one getting all the blame. The real person who did it should be the one getting the blame in this situation. Whoever the the Jai sack dude. A few mistakes by telling her she would be safe up there. He was wrong. She wasn't safe up there. Kai also That's why he made a mistake. Sympathy while he was texting her. It did seem True. like he was more worried about his reputation more than the girl. Here's a screenshot of her yeah. texting Kai saying, "That's your homie. That's why you ain't help me." That's why you ain't go up. You knew what he was doing. And he said, "Yo, what the?" Wait. Well, that's why he ain't go up. What does he mean by that? Like, that's why he didn't. How would he know if something was happening, if he's, at, if he's at a party and having fun? How would he know something was happening upstairs? But yeah, I think Kai should have 
at least help like he should have showed more sympathy like the dude said he should have showed more sympathy when she was texting him but i saw some clip from kai saying that um his lawyers told him not to say too much and that like he just gave it to the law and his lawyers told him to like go straight to the police and i think that's what he did and he didn't want to talk too much about what it. What the fuck? I'm literally getting this info as we speak. Are you fucking crazy? I knew what was going on. I don't think. Yeah, I feel like that's a crazy. I, I feel like that's a crazy like accusation that he knew what was happening. I think Kai's the type of person to let some shit like this slide. Kai seems like a good guy. Why would he ever? Even without seeming like a good guy, that's a crazy accusation. at his own party. This is an unfortunate situation where Kai's friend took advantage of a girl and he fucked Kai over. He put Kai in a bad situation. Yeah, it's this really, is what this is. it's messed Kai up. Should be getting the hate. That Kai. dude, that dude needs to get David locked Dirk up. The situation where he vlogged his friend doing that bit or whatever, where his friend was having a threesome and ended up R-wording a girl that night or something. David Dobrik's what? situation is way worse because Never he covered heard about up this. for years. Kai is being accused of covering up the situation. So at first the girl was only texting him, explaining him what the guy looked like. On Sunday, she said, this shit is serious. I'm not trying to be annoying or anything, but I'm legit traumatized. I don't care if it's one of your friends and you don't want to throw them under the bus. It doesn't matter to me. He did what he did and he asked to pay for that. He said, hell no, not one of my friends. I'm still looking into it. Because I actually think Kai didn't know which guy it was yet. Yeah, the next did, did she did she send a picture before he said not one of his friends? Because it would make sense in that situation. If he had seen a picture before that and said, Oh, it's not one of my friend when it was it's when it was his friend, then okay, yeah, the cow would be in the wrong. But if he didn't know who the person looked like before he said that, that oh he didn't know who it who it was, it was not one of his friends, then he like he it makes sense. By the same time, he should have tried to look more into it because it was his party. Even if it wasn't even if he didn't know it was his friend, he should have like at least he did say he was like looking into it. Is that what he said? He said he's still looking into it. But I can't blame him though. Like this is kind of a lot. Like he probably was talking to his lawyers, and they were telling him what to do, not to say too much. But if he knew what the dude looked like before he said this, then yeah, Kai's in the wrong, one hundred percent. But if he didn't know, I, that's like understandable. No, to, not one of my friends. Claim. I'm still looking into it because I truly think Kai didn't know which guy it was yet. And then the next day on Monday, she sent a picture of a guy, and he said it's him. I don't think Kai knew who it was until this picture was sent. Yeah, he probably. Because he truly wasn't sure which guy it was. I mean, there's probably hundreds of dudes at this party. This is what there Kai said when he found out about everything. Why wasn't he texting back like this? And I don't blame y'all for asking me. Why wasn't Kai texting back like this? Why wasn't yeah. he helping? Because screenshots um uh came in. As soon as this was brought to my attention, chat, I didn't go nowhere else. When this shit was brought to my attention, I didn't go nowhere else but the police. And I think that's the right I thing. I went to my legal team. Like, that's the right I'm thing to do. I'm not being around. This is a serious topic. Let's go to the police. Let's figure this out. Uh, yeah. Help you. But he should have told her that, Bro, though. He should have told her that. My legal team. I think he didn't tell her. The reason why I did not reply is because my legal team told me kai do not text anyone basically kai is saying that he went straight to his lawyer to find out what to do his lawyer said don't text or talk to either side of the situation is, it is now is a fucking criminal offense don't talk yeah, to anyone it's like the fucking police once it this. gets these this deep like this is not something you handle without like the authorities this is not something kai should not go investigating by himself i think he did he made the right choice but he made the right choice but he could have tweaked some things like but regardless of what he had done he would have got dragged on, on the internet you know y'all know how it is like like no one's trying to hear him out no when it comes to stuff like this no one's really trying to hear nothing out like it's just like yo they just take it from zero to 100 instantly in seconds i feel like he made the right choice now that i'm under i'm seeing it more i'm kind of understanding i don't understand i feel like people the way internet works is like once you just see that headline Kai Sinat did a um, sexual assault case. Like they don't even want to know the they don't want to know the facts. They don't want to know nothing, bro. It's just straight to Kai's of this, Kai's of that, Kai's of this, Kai's of that, Kai's of this, Kai's of that. Crazy. It's crazy. But it's the way the internet is. That's why Kai wasn't responding to the girl, which I fully believe. I don't think Kai's that stupid, first of all. And his friend should be prosecuted. And this girl went through something so traumatic. But I think it's really fucked up how now Kai is being called a R word. And I also and I also heard, like I saw a clip where Kai said, after he spoke to the police or something, he called, I think they called the dude and he told them about the situation and the dude was like, oh, uh, he doesn't know that he's he's confused with what, what this is, he's clueless. So now that just makes it more complicated. I believe the dude is lying. I think the dude is lying. By the same time, from the perspective of Kai, 
like it's like now it's like okay there's two sides of the story it's getting like it's getting weird but even if the dude do it i don't think he would have said he did it i think the the the, the g sack dude is lying because even if even if he did it he would not have said nothing about it but it's crazy i think i think kai like once there was two sides of the story you don't know how this case is where these assault cases work like in the past you've seen people people lie and falsely accuse people and then falsely accuse someone that's like famous or something and then that person has to do jail time or not just someone famous just people in general and that just it just gives bad reputations and it makes it harder for like the real cases the real cases of people actually um assaulting someone else it makes it harder for them to be believed you know so i understand i wonder if like, once it becomes two two sides to a story it gets it gets complicated by the same time i think the other dude's lying i i, I believe the other dude's lying because the girl had too much like facts too much facts in the situation his friend yes this is friend yeah this dude should be arrested this dude is chopped bro with this girl's arc his friend this dude is chopped bro <laughs> bro we'll put on the what those balenciagas pull yes. those, pull those on he's fresh. Guy he's weird but he needs to be arrested tested with this girl's arc hit prosecute him to the fullest yeah, extent because he needs this should not lie at anyone's party for people to assume he was like a weird guy too this was going on is fucking insane it's so hectic yeah like that's a crazy fucking keep track of crazy or people at a party it's literally impossible Sucks. i was at a new year's eve party with like 400 people too there's drunk people everywhere it's impossible to keep track of everyone literally impossible it is it's his party much is. he shouldn't have told her to go up there that and was i think mistake. and he i think to just uber him yeah i think I think when he told her to go upstairs, I think he was really trying to look out for her. By the same time, it's a party with like 300, 400 people. You don't know what people could do. You really don't know what people could do. And what did that dude mean by, oh, it's my room? He's such a weird guy. But I feel like that's where Kai, but he, it was not from a place of bad intentions. I really think he was trying to look out for her by telling her to go upstairs. But at the same time, like it's a lot of people in the party. It could have been, this could have been worse. This could have gone from a sexual assault rape to a murder case. It could have been like this could have been way worse than what it is right now this could have been crazier so i feel like that's the mistake kai made he could have like sent her home or something that was the best thing to, to, he should have done by the same time it was in the heat of the moment like he's having fun everyone's having fun everyone's drunk everyone's like you know i don't know and make sure she's safe at home in an uber that's where kai fucked up but he should not be called an r word yeah that's ridiculous his that's friend crazy. should be put in jail I feel terrible for I this like girl, though. She went through something so traumatic, and now she has to live with that for the rest of her life. And this is a, just a terrible thing. Very unfortunate situation. Comment down below what you guys think. Love you guys. Peace out. I personally think that the dude... I personally think the dude is lying. This dude is 100% guilty. Like, this is the way he looks. He looks He looks like a weirdo saying, oh, this is my room. That's why he did what he did. He, he needs to get locked up. But because the girl came to with too many facts, she came with doctor statement of like when she went to the hospital right after the the, the facts the times everything she came with the, with the facts you know and the dude was like oh he's confused so the dude needs to be locked up but people dragging kai online i kind of like it's just like internet shit like even if you tell them like explain to them give them the facts only like five percent of people are actually gonna look at the facts no one wants to look at the facts like if we're being honest like the masses don't want to look at the facts they've been waiting for kai to slip up that's what i'm trying to like he's black He's a black streamer doing better than the white streamers on Twitch. You got to understand that. He revolution he revolutionized the, the the Twitch community for black people. He was number one streamer in the world. So they've been waiting for him to slip up. So they just once it once this happened, they just took it to the they just took it to the moon. They flew with it. I think them calling him a rapist is crazy. That's just that's just fact. I think the accusations is crazy. I feel like Kai he he the mistake he made number one number one mistake was um number one mistake was telling her to go upstairs because it i feel like he's not not like a mistake he was doing it from a place of good intentions but there was just too many people in the party for you to be doing that if it was a party with just like 20 people okay understandable but 400 people 300 people nah you can't you can't do that that's the first mistake kai made secondly when she was texting him at first i thought she she showed him the picture of the dude and he was saying, oh, he didn't know who it was, you know, but from the, from what I just seen right now, like he didn't see the picture. So he didn't see the picture, right? So he was like, like saying, oh, it's not one of his friends, but he was also 
taking accountability and saying he's looking into it even though it was not one of his friends he was still looking to, into it and then she saw a picture of the dude and then she's like oh um you know the dude and that's why he didn't go upstairs and he okay that's like what do you mean like what that's why he didn't go upstairs so she was trying to say that kai knew what was happening when it was happening which is a crazy accusation in my opinion that is an insane accusation for you should just put that out there and say that but it's understandable to be honest it's i kind of understand where she's coming from and at the same time it's like kai was talking to his legal team he was doing the right things he was doing kai was doing once he heard that he said he went straight to the police which is the right thing like something like this you just straight to the authorities but i think kai is not at fault in the situation but unfortunately he is he is involved in it and when you're a celebrity of his caliber and you're involved in this type of like type of stuff it's just it's unfortunate but it's the way it has to be like it could have been worse like it could have been way worse but with that being said hey the dude needs to go to jail prayers up to the to the girl i hope she's doing well this really takes a toll on like stuff like this really takes a toll on on um, victims mentally it's crazy and i'm hearing people are bad like going to her comments saying they'll kill her giving a death threats and all that stuff people are just weird people are just weird but yeah that, that's my that's my two cents that's my two cents on this situation let me know what you're thinking in the comments it's crazy it's really crazy